Good morning. Welcome to Newlands Valley in the northwestern area of the Lay District. And it's quite an overcast day. A better mood, in fact. Do we have a better mood? We certainly do, looking towards Skiddo. Let me just turn you around. It should be interesting, all being well. I'm not sure we're going to get a lot of light today, but we're in the Lake District. Anything could happen. Yeah, I think... Oh, yeah. Morning. Morning. I mean, we Still never appeal to me, fell running. It's too much hard work to me. Anyway, yes, started from got a quaint hamlet called Little Town, which has got a bit of history actually, and hopefully on my way back I might explore it a little. So from Little Town I'm heading up to Hawes Gate, which is basically a, a call between Catbells, which is very popular with the family, and Maiden Moor, which is my first fell of the day. From Maiden Moor I'm going to Carry on, head up to High Spy and dip down to the glorious uh, Dale, Dale Head Town or Dale Town? Dale Head Town, I think it is. And from there, head back towards Little Town. I want to see what today brings in terms of photography. But the rain is holding off. It's a bit cooler, thankfully, in comparison to what we've had here in the UK in the last week or so. The late flourish of hot Indian summer. Oh, yeah. And of course, you're going to get your donkeys and come to the fells swearing. Not just wearing, but wearing jeans and trainers. Not prepared. Albeit, yeah, it is a bit of a family walk, is cat bell, that's where I'm guessing they've come from. But still, you never know, you've got to be prepared. Jeans, for the one of the worst clothing equipment, clothing pieces you can wear. Just soaks in rain, got them out of breath. Anyway. Run to all of it. Quite a quick ish, simple walk up to Hall's Gate, which is where I am now. Um, yeah, I'm heading towards Maiden Moor now, and it looks like we may be clagged in. Uh, so, we'll see what happens. It's around, well, it's about mid 500 metres is Maiden Moor, and it climbs steadily up to high spy so once I'm once I'm once I hit made them more I might find myself in a bit of clag but look at the views of Derwent Water it is a great family walk it's cat bells that's cat bells just in the middle there Great family walk, especially when you've got views like this. There is a picture on hand, it's not a great one. Just use this rowing tree here in the foreground. What's really attracted me is the mood, the cloud, the detail on the cloud. It's windy. The detail on the cloud just uh, over Glencathra. I'll just show you that. Yeah, it's not. There's going to be a bit of contrast. I'm going to go for black and white. I'm trying to get the whole of the frame of the tree against the background of Derwent Water to create that interest. I'm not going to be able to get that at the bottom though. Mm, can you see that? Contrast at the top, I can't get it at the bottom. Like a nice square. I'm just like that cloud there. You've got the island there, just giving it some balance as well. It's alright. It's all right, you've got to get them in the bang, haven't you? It's 
So as expected, we are plugged in. Um, I'm on Maiden Moor, heading towards High Spy, and the visibility is, it's not bad, it's about 100 metres, I guess. Um, but yeah, subjects are far and few between to photograph. There are, however, some sheep. Sheep do actually make good models. I posted uh, an image on Twitter the other day, which was quite successful, actually. If you don't follow me on Twitter, why not? In between me having a go at people, making fun at people, I, I do post images now and then. So take a look. I did uh, take a shot back there of a sheep. Basically, more or less, I'd say it's profile up against the uh, detailed cloud, which might might work well. Um, not sure about you though. Hmm? Right? Yeah. Not much in forms of background there, actually. But yeah. So yeah, we are clogged in. It is clogged this, by the way. It's not. Mist, don't get mistaken by mist. Uh, something different altogether. Uh, but yeah, pretty limited. We may even find a little stream where you know there's a bit of water, uh, the light bounce off the water, make a nice leading line, but there's no real solid, shapely background, so we'll, we'll crack on. So there it is, the distinctive cairn of High Spy. Fairly easy jaunt really from Maiden Moor. As you can see, the clag is not lifted at all. However, I'm hoping, hoping the views will open up, or will open up, when we start to descend down to Dalehead Tan. Hopefully can uh, build some images from there. Tap. There we go. Second time I've banged my spy, made more. And as I continue my second round of the Wainwright, I will no doubt bag a few more, about 60 or 70 to go now, the second round. So this isn't Dela Tan. This is just a little pool of water, but it's just stopped me. Is there something there? I just love the eeriness about it. Nothing really to a line though. Close to this. These glasses here. It's just the old atmosphere and mood, I think it's taking me. So I'm gonna work, I'm gonna try and get an image from it. Maybe up close. Because the clag is really helping. I mean, look at this. this look at the layers. LCD flippy screen. I'm just trying getting close. Let's have a look. Quite low down. You've still got the crag in the background there. It's giving it some balance. I don't know. Maybe a orient different orientation. So this one works a little bit better. Again, this isn't Daily Town. This is another pool of water. You've got some nice shapes here created. Got the water circulating around the mounds of grass turf. It creates a nice shape. And in the background, you've got the two peaks. So I played around with that. Again, 
swap between horizontal and portrait orientation. Still got a nice atmosphere there as well. Dalehead Town, <laughs> to be honest. Back there was probably more interesting in terms of photography, but lovely, peaceful, tranquil place. So I'm just gonna rest, have some dinner. Look at all these grasses here. Nothing's standing out. I've stood here, nothing's standing out. Maybe looking for the circular movement and the water, including the reeds leading up to the atmospheric dale head. No distinctive peaks though, there's crags. Let's have a go. Got the standard lens on again, 24-105. Play around, you get to the edge. Oh dear. Well, it's a bit lonely, but get a bit precarious. See, the edges. Nice curves. Slim pickings back there at Dalehead Town. I think the one that worked the best was the most simple uh, shot of the reeds in the lower half and the um, crag, the pointy crag as well, just give it a bit of balance. Played around, but I had to stop because I was walking into deeper water. You've got to say, all right, enough's enough. Um, right, picked up again, it's when I'm going to head back down towards a little town. I'm going to join this little path, which I've never been on before, which is at the side of Newlands Beck. Love, look at this. You've still got all that clag as well comes and goes, shifts. You think it shifts but then it reappears. Right, all good stuff. Turn out to be a very moody atmospheric day. Oops, Well, this path is uh, introducing some rather nice delights. You've got a nice waterfall back there, very Icelandish. Uh, and now you've got a uh, plethora of trees, rowing trees, I believe. It's all rather nice up against the clad, lessened crags. Lovely layering going on here. Lovely stuff. Um, it's not an easiest, not the easiest path, by the way, you know. It's not all rainbows and unicorns, as I say. It's quite, you know, testing on the old knees. So that's the hike done. But I haven't finished yet. I just want to visit this. Church, Newlands Church, 16th, 16, 1600th, 17th century church. Got links to William Wordsworth, you know, probably he, he's visited here. Little town actually has got a bit of history. Uh, Lake District, Beatrix, Potter. So we can get a few black and white shots here. Bit of history, bit of... Well, there's lots of interest. Very pretty. Anyway, until next time, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.